so guys uh, this will be the uh, part 2 of my lecture 2 uh, because i think uh, there might be some doubt in uh, lecture 2 so i am just extending that lecture and uh, uh, my next video will be the lecture 3 where we will derive the constant gain equations so see in last video i have derived this gt uh, you might be having some, some doubt because how we have derived gt we have said gt is equal to our pl by pavs and pavs is our p in only when our gamma is equal to gamma in conjugate perfect now you will tell me that you if we, if we put gamma in equal to gamma as conjugate then why it is like this it should be 1 minus gamma in conjugate of gamma s so it will be gamma s whole square so this would be 1 minus gamma s because of their conjugation of each other so i can take mod and because this is real this is real so my outside mod will be got converted to uh, general bracket 1 minus gamma s whole square i can cut these two so i will get 1 by 1 minus gamma s whole square so you will tell that this should be in the equation of gt because we have taken gamma e in equal to gamma s conjugate okay but see guys we need to put gamma s equal to gamma in conjugate in the formula of p in only not in the formula of pl because we have a term for pl also and if you just recall my last video then this term is coming because of pl so we can't put it here that p in equal to p uh, sorry uh, gamma in equal to gamma s conjugate okay if we put gamma in equal to gamma s conjugate that means our uh, input part is satisfying the pavs criteria so then we will get the maximum gain from the input part and this is nothing but your uh, gs max gs is your gain from your source matching part okay and this is the expression for gs so you should not be get confused here that why uh, we have not written gamma in equal to gamma as conjugate here because any gain gt we can write it as gs go and gl go is because of your transistor s21 this is because of your input matching circuit and this is because of your output matching circuit so putting gamma s equal to gamma in conjugate for all cases means for pl also we need to put it for pn because we need pavs for our gt formula but if we put in pl also that gamma s is equal to your gamma in conjugate that means from the input side from the input matching circuit i am getting the maximum possible gain okay so don't get confused here that why it is still gamma in and gamma s why they are still written separately so don't get confused here so we have three gain formula gt gp and ga i have derived this i have derived this because this is when your p l and p in are generalized which i have derived already in my uh, previous video and for g a i haven't derived but you can derive it following the same uh, procedure i have did in my previous video just when i was deriving for b plus and b minus at that portion you need to derive it with respect to gamma out not with respect to gamma in okay so if you do that then you can derive gamma a also so i'm not going to deriving gamma a now i'll show some show you something that there is some situation when we can write gt is equal to ga equal to gp and what is the situation so let take up the situation for unilateral case 
as 1 to equal to 0 we know that and for unilateral case our gamma in is equal to s11 and our gamma out equal to s22 see my first video i have derived their formula for gamma in and gamma out and they have a s12 component and if s12 is zero then that component got erased and we are left with only s11 and s22 so for unilateral case when i'll get gtu max u for unilateral case and max is for max i'll get it when this term giving me maximum gain this term giving me maximum gain and here for s21 i can't do anything if i want to increase or decrease s21 then i need to change my device because this is coming from my transistor part i have in my hand only gs and gl and when i'll get this maximum when my input part is fully matched and fully matched imply gamma in equal to gamma s conjugate and this is the condition when we can say our p in is equal to p avs right because p avs is the maximum possible power we can give to the input port of our transistor and gamma in for unilateral case i we have s11 so that means our gamma s should be s11 conjugate perfect so if we put this thing then our gt formula will come out to be 1 minus let me uh okay let me do it here only see if i put gamma in equal to gamma s star then this term and this term are equal like only square term will be there the other square term will go out so i'll have 1 by 1 minus gamma in square s21 square and then 1 minus gamma l square 1 minus s22 gamma l square gamma in is nothing but our s11 for conju uh, for unilateral case so it will be 1 minus 1 minus s11 square s21 whole square and for gtu max our output matching portion should also be fully matched and our in our output portion c this is your gamma l and this is your gamma out so for a fully optimized matching our gamma out should be equal to gamma l conjugate our gamma out is nothing but s22 that means our gamma l should be equal to s22 conjugate so i can put this result here so i'll give i'll get 1 minus s22 square by 1 minus s22 square and then outside module turn to bracket because they are real only square so i can cut these two things and i left with one this thing is not there it will get cut this thing this is my gtu max now 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 if you do the same thing same thing means you need to consider this thing and you need to consider uh, another thing where this thing and then <clears throat> this thing because it is our unilateral case then our gpu max and gau max will also have the same equation so that means for maximum gain in unilateral case our gtu max equal to gpu max equal to ga max so this is very short video because this is just the extension from our lecture 2 uh, in lecture 3 we will start with tightly we will start with uh, constant gain circle uh, derivation okay thank you bye bye